A mighty warrior with a broken spear. Maybe you'd like to join us in decimating those filthy Spartans' front lines. My spear is yours. We'll make good use of it. Now, on to victory. Today, Sparta will bleed! Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome. See you later.
Until next time. Vigilant here. These bandits are drunk. What the hell? I'll be good. you like going on these quests. The bandits don't even put up a fight. And there's wine! Tastes a bit off, though. Yeah. 
Finally come to see a master at work, Varnavas? That's lotus flower wine. The bandits are drugged. I'd lost her a long time ago, but I saw her in my vision. She's alive. We just have to find her. I'll help you find her, but a vision isn't much to go on. There were three visions in the darkness of a forgotten cave. Lida fed a cyclops, but then I saw her drinking wine with a witch. Then I could hear her singing like a siren. About this vision of the Cyclops. Right! Theosa and Poseidon took my hand and led me deep into the heart of the caves of Anafi. There, I saw Lida feeding a young Cyclops. So, Lida was drinking wine with a witch? She herself showed me. The witch and Lida were dear friends, drinking wine together well into the night. In the background, I could see the ruins on Paros Island. You said sirens. Persephone showed me a painted wall. Behind it, sirens lurked. Lita was trapped. Then, Demeter warned me in her motherly voice. You dare not approach, lest your ears pollute your mind. This is ridiculous. Sirens aren't real. Of course they are. I've lost many sailors to their calls. If Lida is alive, I'll find her. God, that smells good. About my Lida, do you have any news? If Lida...
This looks like the place. Polyphemus. Polyphemus, this is important. Do you mean Lida? Silly little, not Lida, lady. Kefalonia. He had one real eye and one fake eye. He picked on little. Pick on little? <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I shoved his fake eye up a goat's ass. <laughs> little funny. <laughs> Hate 
Polifemos. at it. Sure. I think it's pretty. I still need friend to share. Polyphemus like poetry. And practice with you. Tell Polyphemus what make little little. Well, I have eyes. They're nice, I guess. Polyphemus no lady with pretty green eyes. She nice. <laughs> what else? Nothing makes me happier than celebrating. Drinking and singing are good for the spirit. With friend! Polyphemus love to sing. More? I've never been able to rely on anyone the way I can rely on Varnavas and our crew. I wish my work didn't take me away from them. It did hurt inside. Like Polyphemus, for you. This is beautiful, big guy. More gift for little spices from pretty green-eyed lady. Only gift Polyphemus ever got. This might be exactly what I was looking for. So you have a beach to go fishing. Only need friend. Stay here, big guy. But if I ever meet someone who loves fishing and poetry as much as you do, I'll send them your way. Thank you. 
my leader! Do you have any news? In the cave I found a man. I took these spices from him. Ah, oh, my leader. Do you think the man you found was a cyclops? Then she concocted an elixir from these spices and helped him to grow a second eye? Barnabas, there was no Cyclops on Anafi any more than there was one on Kefalonia. Have faith, my friend. Lida was there. If Lida is alive, I'll find her. Ready to embark! to us. We are the new gods.
of contracts about this con of course. Must be a bonehead. It's no wonder he studied medicine.
Watching for me. I need to be careful. Healer, could you use the skills of a mercenary? I have so many soldiers asking for blessing cloths, but the rows are so dangerous I can't possibly deliver them. Blessing cloths? I write out the blessings of the gods and you wear them next to your skin to protect yourself in battle. I'm surprised you don't carry one yourself. Anyway, if the roads weren't overrun with bandits, I could get this to the people who wanted them. I need the money, but I don't want to risk my own neck. So you need me to deliver it? That's exactly it. Will you do it? I'll help you. My thanks, Mistios. Here, stranger. said you'd be needing this. Thank you, Mistios. Here, this is for you. Is there something you need? With the Magistrate and his overseers in turmoil over the leader's death, the new foreman of this quarry is throwing away months of planning in order to turn a quick personal profit. What do you mean? What plans is he throwing away? He's going to send the next shipment with another merchant's boat. What will my buyers do? They've already waited for the materials to finish construction. This will cripple them and me. You're asking me to destroy a merchant's boat? Can I count on you? All right, I'll do it. Ah, what a relief. May the fates be on your side.
γιατί ουδή να με κοινεί, έφρηξα. Here, Hiller. Need any help? I heard you hate bold people. What? It's okay. I hate bold people too. That Hippocrates is one ugly malakas. Bold or not, Hippocrates is a nice man. I don't think he should be judged on his hair loss. It doesn't matter if he's nice. He just shouldn't be bold. I have a cure though, and it isn't herbs. And what is that? Hippocrates' ugly, bald pate has given me inspiration. Do you know what makes a good substitute for hair? Bear hair! If all the bears around here were to drop dead, I may cure this world of baldness. You want me to find and slay all the bears? You catch on fast. Will you do it? I'll take care of it. Thank you, Miss Dios. I'll come back when I'm done.
Cassandra? Chiare! How? Kept myself busy, haven't I? No time to explain here. Get me out! You're as nimble as ever. Now, carry me to my house on the other side of the mountain. I have to carry you the whole way? Uh, I'm so weak. I'm so frail. Ugh, fine. Another vineyard? I am nothing if not consistent, my friend. <laughs> ah, much better. No one makes a hasty exit like you. You're welcome. Cassandra, welcome to the newest of the Marcos estates. I wasn't expecting company, but one must always be prepared. Wine? Marcos, I can't believe you're here. Believe it, my friend. I'm not a man of one city, but of all cities. Who am I to deny the rest of the Greek world what I have to offer? Been here long? Long enough to establish myself as the foremost wine cellar in Kos. Well, the one wine cellar in Kos. The koans will come around eventually. What brings you to Kos, of all places? I've learned a thing or two about soil. Turns out Kefalonia wasn't the best place for grapes. Plus, the locals here love wine. Everybody loves wine. On top of that, Kefalonia isn't as uh, busy as it was before. Plague came from cow sauce and many died. It was bad for business. You made it a long way from home. I could say the same to you. Did you find what you were looking for? I'm still searching. Hopefully you'll have as much good luck as I've had. I found my long-lost mama. Here? In Kos? Since Kos is her home, Kos is my home too. Say hello, mama! Your mama? You told me your mother was dead. Right, this is my adopted mama. We've become so close, she wouldn't have it any other way. Come on, Marcus. The truth. <laughs> well, Mama is the owner of the vineyard. When her husband met his untimely death, it was going to be auctioned off. Something had to be done. So you stepped in to help. How generous. 
It's ridiculous a wonderful lady such as Mama cannot inherit her own property. Now we run the vineyard together. Isn't that right, Mama? She'd put up a fuss if she disagreed. It's her land, but she shares it with her precious son, me! It's a nice place you've commandeered, Marcos. <laughs> if I didn't know you so well, I'd think you were serious. I'm always laughing these days. You weren't laughing much when you were tied up in that fort. Eh, uh, about that. I have a bit of a problem on my hands. Why am I not surprised? But it's something I know you could help me with, my friend. I know your credentials. Go on. You know me. I borrow some drag me, and before I know it, they're calling me the Khan of Kos. All thanks to the Cerberus, whom I owe the most. The Cerberus? First the Cyclops, now this? Don't tell me it's a three-headed dog. Don't be ridiculous. This is nothing like the Cyclops. This time I wish to make a peace offering, with nothing less than my finest wine. Finest? A palatable, maybe. Cassandra, you're like family to me. And since I'm family to you, I'm sure you wouldn't mind helping. You're sure, are you? I promise I can afford to pay you this time. Just take my wine to the Cerberus. Simple. Fine. For old time's sake. I can always count on you. And the Cerberus can count on a nice wine pairing with dinner. Take it to his house. The Cerberus better not bite me. Need help with something, friend? A crate of good wine was lost at sea. Pirates sank a merchant ship. I need that wine for tonight's banquet. You can probably still get it back, if you don't mind getting wet. Only someone truly brave would wade into those waters now. The pirates are still nearby, and I've heard rumors of a shark spotted close to the port. So I should kill all the sharks? Yes, all of them must die. I'm in. I mean your debt. Leave it to me. Are you the Cerberus? Who wants to know? Whew. Only one head. A gift for you. Have you ever had Marcos's wine? It's the best of the best. What's so good about it? It's very... 
sweet. Perfect with chestnut bread. He's not gonna win me over with wine. I never forget whose purse my drachmi goes into. It's a peace offering. I thank you for waiting so patiently for him to pay you back. Hmm. Then drink with me, if you think it's so good. All right. <coughs> it's poisoned! No! That's just the wine! You tricked me! Sick. Guards! Guards! wants to order another amphora's worth. The one made us sick, Marcos. Impossible. It was my best batch. I double-checked. If you wanted him dead, you should have told me. I did tell you. I'm a new Marcos. I don't want people dead. I want what's right. But that isn't good news. Either way, he's dead now. Dead? That's just great. I guess there's only two left to deal with now. Two? The Cerberus is three men, brothers. That's why they're called the Cerberus. Get it? Now you tell me? Expect revenge from the brothers, then. What to do? What to do? What am I saying? Cassandra, this is when we strike. Strike? You and what army? I have a demigod for a best friend. That's an army as strong as 20 soldiers. So what are you going to do? They need to be spooked. As Mama says, a threat is like a bear. Very scary. We'll burn the Cerberus' farm, specifically the silos. That's not a good idea. When have you had reason not to trust me? Don't answer that, my friend. Just trust me. It better work, though I'm skeptical. It's even worth sacrificing them as potential customers. Do you want the crops burned, too? They grow herbs. Harmless plants for medicine. It's just the silos that should go. Blow them up! You couldn't have mentioned there were three of them before? I thought it was implied. Having triplets runs in their family. That's a lot of Cerberuses. Let's hope they don't procreate and have Cerberus puppies. I'll pay their farm a visit. Give them a good scare. I'm pretty sure it's the farm in Astipalia City. Their goons are always hanging around. The farm in Astipalia City? I burned those silos and I didn't see any Cerberus there. What? Their soldiers are always hanging around. I'm sure. There were only scared farmers. No dogs and no Cerberus. Maybe it's not their farm after all. We sure dodged that arrow. It won't stop the Cerberus from coming for you. Are you going to make me beg? Because I'll beg! Speak! 
spare me from the Cerberus! Marcos! Have I led you down the wrong path? A few times, yes. Many times, maybe. But this is it for me, my friend. I can't keep you safe if you keep getting into trouble, Marcos. Think back to that sunny day when I found you, Cassandra. That was your day of need, and Marcos came to the rescue. Come to my rescue today! I've paid you back plenty. That I can't deny. But the Cerberus will come with its dogs and its devotees, and I'll be finished! Protect me, and we'll come out on top! There's that we again. I'll tell you what. You protect me, and you get Mama's beloved battle axe. She used to be quite a fighter, believe it or not. All right, let's keep you alive. Oh, I've never heard words more sweet! You'll never get rid of me now! That's why I do what I do. And just in time, I hear them approaching. All right, Marcos, this is it. The grand finale. Fuck you. Your dead feet. Oh. But I don't want to jinx myself. Yes, that's why you're alive. I joke, I joke. I owe you everything, Cassandra. For this, you get a lifetime supply of wine and my friendship. Lucky you. Oh, and Mama Zax. Life will now be simple. All thanks to you. It's always thanks to you. Less dramatic life is just what you need, Marcos. Go now and adventure. Come back any time for that cup of wine. Right. We'll see about that. Here, a friend. Anything a mercenary can do for you? There have been followers performing rituals at a shrine by the shore. What are they after here? I have no idea, but I'm scared of these followers. I've written a message to notify the commander, but I'm afraid I might not get past them to bring it to him. You want me to deliver it to the Athenian commander? Yes, simple enough. It needs to arrive in one piece. I'll take care of it. You have my thanks, mercenary. I should get going.
This is for you. Oh, thank you, Mystios. Take this for your trouble. You're back. Have you killed them? I took care of them. Every last one. By Zeus, thank you. Please, take this as a reward. Thank you. 